performance test and heat balance over four stroke single cylinder diesel engine with electrical loading. This is the test rig used for this experiment. Diesel engine and the rated RPM is 1500. As we can see the crankshaft of the engine is connected to the generator shaft. This is the AC generator. It has a capacity of 7.5 kVA at 1500 RPM and a power factor of 1. These are the air heaters used for applying electrical load. This is the air box with orifice which is connected to the engine intake manifold through this pipe. This is the exhaust pipe which is connected to the heat exchanger. cooling water supply. As being shown it is connected to the engine head as well as the heat exchanger. These are the two water meters used for measuring the flow of water. These are the loading switches each of 0.5 kilowatt. These are the voltmeter and the ammeter. <coughs> Energy meter. Engine speed indicator and the temperature indicator. Temperature selector knob. This is the YouTube manometer which is connected to the air box to measure the air flow across the orifice. Observe the blue colored water in the manometer for reference. The visible fuel tank has a capacity of 7 liters. This is the pipette which is used to determine the fuel consumption. The start point and end point are marked on the pipette for measuring 10 cc of fuel. Now let's open the water supply valve and start the experiment. Close the exhaust valve initially. Now insert this hand crank into the camshaft as being shown. Holding the exhaust valve crank the engine. As the engine is about to start open the exhaust valve. As we can see the engine is now in running condition. Switch on the console. Using the load switch apply a load of 0.5 kilowatt. Note down the ammeter and voltmeter readings. Note down the engine speed.
calculate the difference in the manometer reading. Closing the fuel supply knob and using a stopwatch, check the time taken for fuel consumption from start point to end point on the pipette. Observe the energy meter and note down the time taken for three revolutions. Now note down the temperatures T1, T2, T3, T4, T5, T6, and T7. Using the second load switch, apply an additional load of 0.5 kilowatt. Note down all the readings as been done previously. Now again apply additional 0.5 kilowatt load. In this manner, as being shown, we have to repeat the experiment up to 2.5 kilowatt load has been applied. After all the readings have been observed, tabulate the values respectively. Note down the time taken for the flow of 1 litre of water through the engine head as well as the heat exchanger as being shown. Release the load by switching off all the load switches. Press and hold the fuel cutoff to eventually stop the engine. Using the tabulated values, calculate the performance and draw up the heat balance sheet. This concludes our experiment.